family go to Fort Hayes. My dad played football in Fort Hayes, so it's kind of been a dream of mine to kind of follow in his footsteps. And uh, kind of when you look this morning, you kind of have a little step with the energy, because this, this is a proud day for you, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was exciting. Um, I was excited to come out and kind of, it was cool seeing all my friends here and uh, some family, too. So when that hand hits the papers, is it relief or can you describe that moment when you get that signature? Uh, just relief knowing that like that's that's what I'm doing. Like it's official now, so it was it was a big relief. And uh, kind of tell us what you what, how your season went, kind of how how your season kind of went, playing with your decision where you went. Um yeah, definitely. We we run a spread offense with a a lot of like fast pace uh, passing and stuff, and it's just very similar offense to Fort Hayes, and so I think it, um, it's good fit for me being a wide receiver and stuff. Tell me about kind of how this. Uh all your hard work for the years and now it kind of pays off. Is, is this kind of the reward of it? Describe kind of that reward of where you are now. Yeah, it's it's been crazy kind of looking back, like coming in as a 5'2 freshman, 115 pounds, just kind of seeing all the every day going out and working that all that really did, does pay off and that it really happened. So You have a lot of family here. What's it going to have family and friends here because it's a lot of hard work for them and you right now? Uh, yeah, it, it, it means everything. I definitely wouldn't be in the same place without them supporting me throughout the years. And uh, what, what do you hope to take your team, bring your team when you get on campus? Um, just energy and just being a positive person, somebody that everybody wants to be their teammate, just good guy. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm good. Thank All right, thanks, man. It's exciting. It's a dream come true. I've been wanting to play college football since I could walk, and it's being able to sign the papers and make it happen is huge. Now that you're finally here, do you feel that piece of, when, when that pin hits a piece of paper, describe that moment. It's relieved and excited. It's a whole mixture of emotions. Can't wait for the future. Excited to, excited to see what God has in store for me. So, um, 
you probably had a lot, uh, a lot of going into this. I know CSU probably with the CSU new coach coming in. Can you describe what, what it was like when you first heard about that moment when, you, when they talked about your scholarship? Yeah, it was um, it was definitely an emotional moment. I was uh, it was where I'd been committed to since June, and I was I was 100% invested into the school. They with the new coaching staff, they were heading a different direction and said they don't have a scholarship for me anymore, and I was. Um, just kind of took it as God has a bigger plan. I'm, I'm meant to be somewhere else and trusted in his process and ended up where I'm supposed to be. Well, kind of what was your first reaction when they told you about that? You maybe knew that might have happened, and, and was there talk of you maybe coming back again and kind of describe what, kind of how that went along there? They did. They were, they were um, asking me to come in and be a preferred walk-on at the program. Um, but then th right when they first told me, I was just kind of overwhelmed. I didn't, I didn't necessarily see it coming at the moment. Um, did you did you kind of what did you learn from that when that happened when they took that from you? Hmm, I would say I learned just God has a bigger plan for you. It's not always going to happen on your timeline. Things will things will work themselves out in the end. What was the hardest part about this um, having the scholarship pulled? I mean, January seventh, I think, was when the offers were. So kind of what's been the hardest part about this whole thing right now? Just just the timing. It's from the time it was pulled to signing that I had like three and a half weeks, and it was. Just very quick turnover from having no communication with any coaches since June to trying to find a new home in three weeks. And how did you land at South Dakota, uh, South Dakota State? It was just the place I felt the most wanted, where I where I thought I would succeed the best and had had the best opportunities for me in my future. You grew up there. I mean, was there a disappointment not being able to play for that CSU probably right up the road? And if so, what was it like? And if so, how'd, how'd you learn? How'd you take that that moment from that? I mean, obviously, playing for your home state is fun. It kind of adds a adds another dimension to it, but it's not the end of the world by any means. It's getting to play Division One college football no matter where it is. Did you have any contact with Jay, with Coach Norvell? Did you talk to him at all? I talked to him a couple of times, what, yep. What was that conversation like? You don't have to remember what you said, but kind of what did you learn from him? What did you understand that why, he's, why he did that? He just has, um, they run an entirely different offense, whole different defense. They have a lot of immediate needs that they needed to they needed to fix, and they were looking to the transfer portal and guys that they had in Nevada to fill those roles. Moving on, you're going to South Dakota State. What do you hope to bring to the team right now? <laughs> I hope to bring, uh, number one, just leadership. I hope I can be a leader and be uh, be the be a guy that the team looks up to, uh, and then versatility, being able to play anywhere on the field wherever I'm needed. Do you feel like a, a weight's off your shoulder today? Is this kind of a, a moment from here on? You're moving forward and they're not looking back. And if so, what's that like? Definitely, definitely relieved. I'm I'm excited, bought in, ready to move forward. Can't wait to see what's coming. Uh, what's the future hold for you? <sighs> we'll see. Hard work and dedication. We'll see what comes of it. Did you like how your season went? I, I do. We unfortunate ending, but we did well. Never never want to end without a state championship. But what can you take from here that you can, can apply to your future at, at college? Um, off the field, maybe. Off the on the field, I I want to win my last game. I want to win a national championship. Off the field, just so many so many leadership and character qualities that I've been able to develop and that have been nurtured here.